All right, after looking at Georgia O'Keeffe's work, um, one of her paintings was purple leaves. So we are gonna do our best to recreate something similar or use her work as inspiration for ours. So you should have your square white paper ready to go and a pencil and we will begin to draw a leaf. Now a leaf is something found in nature. No two look alike. So we're gonna do the best we can. In her picture, it was a very flowy and curvy kind of a leaf. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm going to start to create my interpretation of the leaf that she had in her picture. And I'm just kind of curving all around. Start here at the bottom again. And again, no two need to look alike, but she had these soft and gentle curves. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint it purple. Now, this is the stem, so leaves are gonna grow out in this direction, and then with the veining, they curve out. So as I paint, I wanna kind of follow with that idea so that my brush strokes are moving in the direction that my leaf might grow. So getting started, something like this, as they kind of split off of that stem and go into the veining, and I'll work on filling in the whole leaf. All right, at this point, I am going to stop, and I want to let my leaf dry. My next step will be coming back in with oil pastels once this is dry. All right. So now that I have a dry leaf, I'm going to work with the oil pastels. So I'm working with these Portfolio Series water soluble oil pastels so that I can start to add lightening areas or highlights and darker areas or shadows using these two colors. So as I do this, any area where there's kind of this big dip or loop is going to be an area where we're gonna get a little bit of a darker value or a shadow. And so I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna work with this, kind of creating almost a V off of those curves. So I'll do a little bit like that. Then I want to really start to lighten some areas and create some folds and creases and wrinkles into my leaf. So I'm gonna do that with my white. And those lighter areas and darker areas can come right together. And then there is the veining, and that is the stem coming right through the leaf. So we can get those in there, all of these different little folds are usually created by various veining in the leaves. So something like this. Now, what makes these um, oil pastels unique is that they are water soluble. So I'm going to get my brush I don't want it 
too wet, just a little bit damp. And as I come in here, I'm working very soft, very gentle, and my oil pastels start to blend in with the paint. I do a little bit of this with the blue, but much more with the white. I really like the white to soften and blend in. I think it makes it look like a very natural transition from the purple to the lighter purple. And I kind of like the more harsh blue shadows. Again, my personal preference. You can experiment. If you're nervous to try it right away, take another piece of paper, take a page out of your art sketchbook, and you can paint some sections with your purple, let it dry, and then you can experiment with adding the water over the top to your colors. Like here, I added a little bit too much water and I started to lift my purple paint so I can actually come back in with that purple and get those areas to blend a little better. And I'm not pressing really hard when I do this. I'm lifting my brush and just kind of dragging the very tip of it right over the white, back and forth, smoothing it all out. Kind of this zigzag motion helps it dissolve and really kind of works the water into the oil pastel. And again, I'm not using a sopping wet brush. So when I dip in, I'm dragging on the side and I'm getting rid of a lot of the water. I don't want to put puddles on top because then as I do the zigzag motion, I would end up painting a hole into my paper. Once you are done with this step, it is time for the background. And we're gonna switch gears with our background. And we're gonna move into watercolor paints. All right, so for my background, I am going to use a wet on wet technique. So that is where we get the paper wet with water and then we add watercolor over the top just by dropping it and kind of letting it spread out naturally. So I want to do blues and greens in the background. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go with purple and blue this time. Make it look like a very soft, abstract. So I'm getting my paints ready by adding droplets of water. And then I'm going to work in a small section at a time. And what I do is start to just drop water on the plate, on the painting, goodness, spread it around. And then come in and just pick up some of the paint. And just by adding these droplets, it starts to spread. 
I'm going to continue to pick up water as I pick up my paint because I want to make sure both the paint, the plate, the brush, everything has a good amount of water in it. You can see where it's really wet on the paper that it starts to spread out.